As you know this from the Apogee website, all the Cesaroni motors have really long delays. So how do you use these in your rocket? Well, what you're going to do is to cut down the delay to your specific rocket. Uh, this is done using the ProDat tool that comes from Cesaroni. And you're going to need to order this separately. You only need one of these, um, and it's good for both 38 and 29 millimeter motors. Now, when you get your motor, your propellant grain, remember it comes looking like this. And you just pull the cap off, and it holds the ejection uh, charge and the delay. And this, uh, this side is the delay. The ejection charge is under this paper cap. So the first thing you're going to do is to go into Roxim and find out what is the best delay for your particular motor. And then you're going to go to the chart and find out what the, what the delay is currently on that particular motor. So say this one is a 14 second delay, which I know it is, and you need a 9 second delay on your rocket. So what we need to do is to remove 5 seconds of delay. And if you look on the ProDat tool, it's graduated on how many seconds of delay you're going to remove. So it's minus 3, minus 5, minus 7, and minus 9. So take the little drill bit and stick it in the hole and index it to the 5 second uh, removal. Then it's just a matter of, of putting the delay in there and twisting. And you'll see that the delay is being drilled. When it bottoms out, then you know you're at the proper distance. Okay, so I'm not going any further in here. So I've removed five seconds of delay. Then it's a matter of sticking that back on here, sticking it into the casing, and screwing it down tight. And that's basically it. That's basically how you use the ProDat tool. So if you have any questions, please give us a call at Apogee Rockets. Our website is www.apogeerockets.com.